so uh, these are the beds we are raising them indoors and they've been quite cool uh, ever since they were hatched i think um, we do not necessarily need to provide any uh, external source of heat because um, uh, that seems quite okay uh, not the very um, best i guess but like it's not uh, really bad too because you can see they were not um, trying to take um, eat from each other they are not they are not trying to like do that you can see them on their own um, just eating and being active and yeah and i think they are growing quite big too so i hope uh, we do not uh, I hope I mean I hope the vaccine is resources. So um, these are how our new chickens. This is how they are doing. And um, currently I'm expecting the um, uh, the newly built um, automatic incubator that has been worked on. So um, ever since um, we hatched this one, we decided uh, to rest a while. Um, pending where will we get our automatic incubator because a kerosene incubator can be quite um, uh, stressful so I just I, I want to make my life a little bit uh, better so uh, apart from um, vaccinating these beds I'll be helping my dad to vaccinate his uh, entire um, local chickens as well um, because uh, lately uh, they've been suffering from Newcastle uh, and the best way to like uh, treat Newcastle disease is to vaccinate the beds because uh, obviously uh, your antibiotics do not work for via infection uh, it only helps in uh, preventing reinfection reinfection uh, so <laughs> pardon my pronunciation so that is basically what it does it doesn't uh, on its own prevent uh, them uh, it doesn't it doesn't help um, uh, tackle the, the the Newcastle disease. So uh, you should try everything possible to va always vaccinate your beds. That that's the best way you can avoid uh, problems on your farm. So um, I'll be doing this uh, right now. I hope they approach the water.